Welcome, Commander. You know as well as I that not even the most well-thought-out plan may survive reality. You've got the right turrets, you've got the right munitions, but one little mistake and you might find yourself overwhelmed. In those situations, make good use of the air support. Let me take you through your options. Ordering a straight front will have one of our A-10s blaze a trail in a straight line with a minigun. There are three straight runs available. The regular one, the heavy straight run, and the most powerful, Iridium straight run. <laughs> if you're looking for something a bit more powerful, you could go for the precision strike. Send an F-35 to launch a row of missiles at your enemies. There is also a more potent phosphorus strike available. Same concept, but leaving a trail of burning phosphorus very effective against infantry. Now, if that's not enough for you, you might want to go for the carpet bomb. Our B-52 bombers will cover a wide area, easy to aim, hard to avoid. If you want to tweak your serving and annihilation, you should try the thermite carpet, leaving a trail of burning thermite, extremely effective against infantry or the toxic carpet, covering a wide area with corrosive gas, even slowing your enemies. Looking for even more destruction? Go with the heavy carpet bomb. Perhaps you're in need of something a bit more traditional. The artillery strike fires a barrage of shells in a large area. Now, if you want nothing to get past that area, call in an AC-130 gunship and pummel your enemies into dust. Having trouble aiming? The liquid nitrogen bomb will freeze enemies in place for a while, buying you precious time and making them easy targets. Additionally, units get fragile while frozen, making them shatter when attacked, Terminator style. Another way to ensure a hit is to use the focus strike. Unlike most ordinances, you target a specific enemy for the focus strike, dealing massive amounts of damage to that unit. This is particularly effective against powerful enemies like mechs and elite units. They say good defense is a good offense, but uh, sometimes you need a good defense as well. Try dropping a few extra turrets. The support turret will attack nearby enemies automatically, and the Tesla turret fires an arc of electricity that stuns and does massive damage to multiple enemies. If these are placed correctly, they can even block the paths of enemy units. Another nifty trick you can pull in a tight spot would be the energy shield that will render your base invulnerable for a decent amount of time. You should always have one of these in handy. Don't worry, Commander, I've saved the best for last. If you're having trouble with airborne enemies, call in the fighter jets to completely annihilate the enemy aircraft. When conventional firepower just isn't enough, try one of these. The tactical nuke is dropped by a B-2 bomber and everything and everyone in the blast area will be sorry they were ever born. A true marvel of destruction. Oh yes, here's my personal favorite, the ion cannon. Fire an orbital particle beam upon your enemies that will obliterate anything in its path. And the best thing, you can aim it yourself. Now, if none of these did the trick and you want to completely clear the entire field, we have one last thing available. The Ragnarok. This is the mother of all bombs and will instantly destroy every enemy on the map. I think you're ready for action, Commander. See you on the battlefield.